The rated power of the amplifiers, RMS power, is the effective power that amplifiers can work within a given harmonic distortion standard for a long period of time without any damage. According to international standards, power is marked in two ways. Rated power, RMS, and instantaneous peak power, PMPO power. In order to cater to consumers' needs, manufacturers usually mark the amplifiers with peak power, which is about two times the rated power, but often this data does not make sense to the consumers. In order to provide better service to consumers, Sure Electronics uses the following methods to test the rated power of an amplifier. We input pink noise to the amplifier and the output of the amplifier is connected to a true RMS multimeter to display the output voltage and the current. Then we adjust the input signal to make the amplifier reach full output power. This test will last two hours, and only when the amplifier passes this test will we mark this power as its rated power. Therefore, the rated power of Wondom amplifier is the true RMS power. Notice, to maintain the balance of economy during manufacture, specifically regarding power and heat dissipation, some series of amplifiers are able to reach the rated output power, but only last for a while. So, if you need more power or longer working hours with RMS power, please contact us at store at sureelectronics.com and we will provide you with full power output with the optimum solutions for heat dissipation. Meanwhile, Sure Electronics will speed up the distinction between industrial products and standard products. We will mark the industrial products with rated power, long time operation, and will also provide the specific duration of the standard product working continuously with true RMS power. True RMS means true root mean square. True means real and correct. RMS is the square root of the average of the square of a set of statistics referred to as the root mean square, also called the effective value. The multimeter squares the average of the squared data of the different values it records during the measured time, which is called true RMS. When we define the effective value according to the principle of thermal equivalent, making alternating current and direct current pass through the same resistance respectively, if they both consume the same amount of electric energy in the same time or generate the same joule heat, then the value of direct current is regarded as the RMS value of the alternating current. Current testing instruments, including the true RMS multimeter or average responding digital multimeter, however, the average meter cannot accurately measure a particular waveform and may cause a large error. The output voltage and current tested by the true RMS multimeter are the true RMS value. So the power calculated according to the tested output voltage and current is the effective power. For example, 179 True RMS Digital Multimeter and Family of True Vault Digital Multimeters. We can also use an oscilloscope with a current probe to run the test as well. Whether the amplifier can reach rated power also depends on the impedance. If the impedance is too small, since P equals 12R, the current will be so large, exceeding the tolerance of the components, resulting in the amplifier being damaged. In addition, amplifiers designed by Sure Electronics are equipped with overcurrent protection, 
When the current reaches its limitation, the amplifier will automatically shut down to prevent it from being burned. If the impedance is too large, the current will become smaller, resulting in lower output power. Therefore, the amplifier can only achieve rated output power with certain typical impedance. In this test we used DS1054Z and 1310S current probe to test the output power of our HPAD series 2500 watt amplifier board and explore whether it can really reach 2500 watts true RMS. First, set the input signal to 1.4 volts RMS The output voltage is 49.8 volts and the output current is 29.6 amps. The output waveform is sine wave, which means there is no distortion at this time. Next, we will raise the input signal to 2 volts RMS. The output voltage is 62.1 volts. The output current is 39.5 amps. And the power is 2,452.95 watts. At this point, we can see from the output waveform that distortion has occurred. THD plus N equals 10%. The accuracy of DS1054Z, plus or minus 3%, full scale less than 10 millivolts. The accuracy of I310S, current probe, plus or minus 1% of reading, plus or minus 50 milliamps, 30 amp range. Since the tested data is large, the accuracy of DS1054Z can be approximately equal to plus or minus 3% and the accuracy of I310S is about plus or minus 1%. Therefore, Wondom HPAD 2500 amplifier board has been proven to be capable of delivering 2500 watt. Next, we will keep the amplifier running at 2500 watts for a while.